Hey gang, more fashion advice coming up. I'm, uh, I'd like to, to talk today about uh, uh, choosing a wig or a hairstyle. Um, for some of us who don't have a lot of experience with wigs or who are trying to find a hairstyle that um, uh, flatters their face, that they look good in, um, it's, a, it's a long an arduous road. I have a. Uh, I have. I'm being. I'm being uh, joined by one of my guest stars, and I haven't named him yet. But he's a very small, little gnat or fly of some kind. But he seems to be relatively friendly. So I'm just going to leave him alone. My this 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 uh, current hairstyle of mine um, is not real. Sorry. If I, if I hurt anyone's, if I if I upset anyone, it's not real. Um, if I surprised anyone, I should say. For years and years and years and years and years, I tried different hairstyles, and uh, as my hair natural hairline receded and receded and receded, um, I I couldn't use my own hair at all, so I, I had to put something on top. Anyway, um, I want to talk about you going to a wig shop or buying a wig and uh, when you go to a wig shop you must try on a lot of wigs don't settle and don't let them sell you the first one. Oh, honey you look so wonderful okay try something else on try several different types of hair styles crazy maybe from one end of the spectrum to the other to find out what's going to work for your bone structure on your face, okay? So you're going to see, I'm really, I'm really throwing it out there, but you're going to see now my wigs that I've worn over the last 20 years, okay? Uh, and and get an idea of how different each one of those wigs makes my face look, or how or how uh, good or bad I look with each wig, okay? So I'll be right back. So. You know, when I went to my first Bon Jovi concert, I wore this. No, I'm kidding. Um, this was a look. My this was my big hair look. Like I had to explain that, right? And uh, you get an idea of uh, of how you know. Uh, actually, when I had this wig, I was quite a bit younger, so I guess I probably looked differently in it. And uh, uh, I don't know how much longer I can sit here with this wig on because I'm thinking that I'm. I'm really aging myself right now, but you get an idea of a different, a, diff a vastly different hairstyle, really, from what I just had. Uh, it's going to give you a, a different look. So this is my, this is my, this is my short hair that I wore. I think I wore this wig for like three years because nobody was honest with me. I think is basically what it was when I wanted to know if I looked good or not. Anyway, um, you be the judge. But once again, you know, different hairstyle, cut a different way, much shorter, you know, not a lot of, not, not a lot of stuff here. Okay, completely different look. And a different color can, can really uh, change your look dramatically. We still have, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a couple inches longer than the last one. Okay, and uh, you could play with these and you could do this and you can brush it in like this and bring the whole back down and around. You can, you know, if you want to spray it, you can tease this up in the back, get this up a little higher, get a little more fullness in it. Um, but once again, it, it gives you, it, it changes the appearance of your face, you know. And I, I'm always uh, partial to wigs that hide my face because, uh, you know, I think you don't want this to be, you know, like too exposed. So, you know, stuff like this where, where I feel like I'm, I'm hiding in the bushes, just, lo you know, looking out and looking to see if anybody can recognize me or not. But this is uh, uh, another look. Not, that's, that, I'm not saying nothing about this one. This is a, uh, see what, what this long, these long straight lines right on the side of my face do with the bangs going across. You know, this I would call uh, uh, a big no-no for Rachel, but this wig could make any one of you, if you have a face shaped a little differently, look fabulous, okay? But it's not working for me, so 
Uh, and don't ask me why I saved these wigs all these years. I just can't get rid of them. I'm a collector. And this was my Weird Al Yankovic phase. But the point of this one is not just to, you know, make you all lose your breakfast. It's to show you that the same hairstyle that I, I am comfortable with today and, and I've been complimented on uh, a lot uh, in a different color don't work. Okay, so color is so very important to, uh, you know, looking good um, as, as style. It's the same as style, okay? I cannot freaking believe I'm sitting here in front of the camera wearing this wig. Ah, that's better. Um, you know, I'm not not a very good judge of of uh, of beauty, <laughs> what looks good. Um, I go I go oftentimes with what people tell me. You know, what gets me the most compliments, um, and then run with that. Don't go back to the things that I didn't get any compliments on. Uh, and you know, and for all of you ladies out there, you know. You wear what makes you feel good, but sometimes we don't always have, as you can tell from my history of wig choices, we don't always have the best idea of what looks good on us. And sometimes you got to go with, try to get some professional assistance or someone with a lot more experience. And trust people, trust your, trust someone, if you don't have anyone you trust, you know, trust their judgment. You know, if they tell you it looks good, it probably does. Um, so once again, you know, you got to find a wig that fits your bone structure and your face. Okay. You got to find a color that fits your color and doesn't wash your face out or make your face appear to be a darker than it really is. Um, and so a lot of, a lot of work, a lot of homework, a lot of studying beforehand, and then finding a place that is happy to work with folks like us and go in there and taking your time. Don't get nervous. Don't get anxious and have fun trying on different wigs. And when you've tried on six or seven or eight different styles, now you're going to know what, what kind of style is going to go with your face. Okay. So hope this helped you guys. All right. Peace and love to all. And uh, let's just try to accept everyone for who they are. <laughs>